Hello, guten Abend. Welcome back to Let's Play Planescape Shaper of Dreams. He has a big los. Now, I went back to the garbage dump, and then I went into that secluded house, and then I tried to pour the water into the tub, and it gave me this message. I wrote it down. It said, Keine schlechte Idee. Aber ich habe jetzt keine Zeit zum Baden. That means not a bad idea, but I have no time for bathing or no time for swimming. So instead of showing you, I'll just tell you. In the meantime, let's try to find that one house described in this wanted poster over here so that we can collect a reward. And then we need to go find a map around here. Now, I believe he said something about this place being by a tower. This hideout is in an old tower near the cemetery. Well, this is the only tower that I see around here. And lo and behold, we can go in. We don't even have to open the door. We just go right in. But, also according to the journal, it says the entrance is apparently so well hidden that I may need magical help to find it, but perhaps my own modest skills will suffice. So that means we have to go into search mode. Well, I don't think it's here. What is our search, by the way? Our search is a four. Wonderful. I might actually need our new party member, Damon, to do that. Damien, I mean. Well, if we're not going to find anything, I'll just switch to him. Check this out. Oh, no need. That's our secret trap door. All right, let's get out of search mode. And let's go down inside. All right, here we are. Where's the rest of my party? Shaft down. Okay, well, I guess we'll transition to another area. Okay, and on the other side of this door is a lizard folk warrior. Starts out as neutral. He'll probably attack us should he see us. So I'm thinking maybe we should go into stealth mode, maybe? What if we went into invisibility? And we have something here that'll help out with that. Visibility. Anywhere? No, and that was one of the invocations that I did not pick. Dang it. That sucks. Yes. What about you? No. You don't have anything? What is this? Oh, iron body. Blood, acid, and beer on ice. Yes. And you don't have anything. Yes. Okay. How about if we put everybody into stealth mode? Will that work? Usually it doesn't. Usually everybody likes to get out of stealth mode. Yes? Yes? Oh, I'm gonna have to change everyone's behavior. Let's put stealth mode. Always be stealthy, everybody. And then we'll switch it back if this doesn't work. Alarm! Intruders! Okay, so I'm guessing that didn't work. Okay, everybody. Well, why don't we 
put the haste on and then we'll spam that. You need to put on this buff over here. Was it Entropic Warding? What happened to you? Spam that, Lee. Okay, I think everyone is dead. Yes. However, now everybody knows we're here, and that sucks. Potion of Cure Light Wounds, okay. I wonder if we would have got more had we... I mean, more XP had we been able to stealth about the place. I don't know. Maybe you just can't do it. There's another lever over here. Uh-oh. It's a trap! Let's turn the trap off. What is it? What does this say? Generic ready to use ground lever. Just attach an on use script. Oh, I'm guessing they didn't remove that like you're supposed to. Okay. That Githyanki is dead. Eine Uble Uberraschen für Unliebsame Besucher. This is a unit. I know this isn't going to make sense in English. This is all unit a surprise for unwelcome visitors. So this probably just means a a bad surprise for unwelcome visitors. Which is exactly what it was. Did this guy have anything on him? Oh, a potion of invisibility. You shall not outlive the day. So what do we have here? Oh, there's Jorad himself. He's challenging. And he has with him a Duragar, a Drow. Oh, we should probably neutralize the Drow. Spam that. We'll have you neutralize the Duragar. And we have a new Thraki. <laughs> Try to go into stealth mode. Should be spamming these things. Oh, you're not in defensive casting mode. Alright, just spam the drive. Looks like you got debuffed. Oh, it looks like Jorad turned into a werewolf. Short gray fur covers this lean, feral humanoid. It has sharp claws and a wolf-like muzzle. So Jorad ten foot is actually a werewolf. What happened to you? Attack decreased. Concentration failure. Let's get far enough away. Ah, oh, we got 84 XP. Next to the healing. Dead. No problem. Okay, stop healing people. Ten gold pieces. We got uh Plus two chainmail, plus one great sword, ring of protection plus one, 
some type of belt, thieves tools, and 21 gold pieces. Could you pile a little more stuff on me? Okay, we'll give this to Jared over here, along with this belt, whatever that is. We're gonna have to spend money to identify it. Great sword as well. Ring of protection plus one, who needs that? You? No. What about you? Yes. There you go. Okay, I think your AC will go up by one if we equip this over that. But we're sacrificing saving throws against disease and negative energy. Alright, we're going to put the great sword plus one in there and the armor. What about over here? Oh, this is like the same thing. Yes? Okay, I guess Jorad the human dies has the same equipment as Jorad the werewolf. Except Jorad the werewolf has a couple gems. Yeah, chainmail plus two, plus one great sword, some type of belt, and a plus one ring. And the head. Could you pile a little more stuff on me? Alright, let's give this to you. You. Give that to you and the belt to you. And yes, we're gonna have to sell a bunch of this stuff, namely the gems. Yes? Let's throw this stuff in there. We'll have to identify those. Maybe we'll get something good out of it. Yes? What's in the armoires? Nothing? Nothing. So what's over here? Nothing. We have some crates. God's foam? What's inside? Only the gods know. It does prayer. Hey, that's pretty good. Expeditious retreat. We'll have you grab these. Even though you can't use that. Not yet. You better follow me. Okay. Put that back on again. Let's go this way. And inside here is some type of well, it looks like. With a bunch of buckets on either side of it. And we can't do anything with it. Well, what's the point of it? I don't know. But we got what we came here for. So we might as well leave. In fact, we probably want to rest. No resting is allowed in this area. Interesting. Alright, then I guess we will go into the next ward since I think we've explored everything. We need to pawn off this head to... Who is it? The Mercy Killers? Somebody was in charge around here. Okay, this is Suldner, that means soldier. Meet Klinge Blutkrieg. That means... Rents a blade for the Blood War. Or a Blood War mercenary. Crotigral. I wouldn't go into that house if I were you. I just saw them drag some wicked person in there. Then we'll be headhunters. You don't want to be messing with them. Really? In here? Well, let's find out what is going on in here. Uh-oh. Looks like Kaylin the Dove. The big brute roughly grabs one of the wings of the ethereal being and breaks it into a nasty laugh. Don't struggle, little dove. One, two little cuts with this knife. With this nice, sharp shiv here. 
and you'll have it behind you. Viter, I guess that means wait. Or viter, yeah. E I is a is an I sound. I E is an E sound. Viter. No, no, please, not my wings. Vita? Do you think we're stupid? You don't need the feathered bits for the kind of stuff we have in mind for you. For a working girl, they'll just get in the way. Besides, with them, you might be able to get away faster than we'd like. Vita? Ha ha ha. Look at that. Crow Fox stoops to explaining himself. He's got a thing for the little dove. Vita? And then he's angry. Explaining myself? Those were threats, you idiot. Now off with the feathers. Vita? Hey, we've got visitors. This is our place. Is that clear? Get lost and we'll put a few dents in your brainless skulls. Make it so you won't need buckets to fetch water. You will release this woman immediately, or it will go very badly for you. Huh. Who do you think you are to give us orders, dumb whore? Take your spineless boy toys and get out. That's my last warning. We leave straight away just as soon as we've made each of you shorter by one ugly head. Let's get them. Sure enough, face. All right. How should we start out here? Should we do bless or prayer? Probably do prayer. You are... You've already started casting that. I wanted you to do that. Do that. Easy enough. We probably want to have you drink one of these potions eventually. Headhunters, Elvi. Who's Elvi? It's a typical commoner found in any village, town, or city. All right, go after that one. Oh, you're also doing prayer. Well, we can't the have enemy two people near. doing prayer. Too late. No problem. That sucks. I didn't want two people doing prayer. I only wanted one. Oh well. You're going to Okay. We need to do one of these divine shields. What are you doing? You should probably be doing more of these things. Eldritch chains. No problem. Alright, now you can drink that potion. Hey, you gained a level. Alright, we'll level you up during the battle. Alright, air rear, here we go. What is your level? You're level 7, so you're going to be level 8, which is going to be a Warlock level. Improve the decks. Very nice. Okay, for level 8, we're going to do Concentration. It wants to do Listen. Spellcraft, Spot, Tubble, Use Magic Device. How many do we have? Two more. Well, it's just going to be Spellcraft and Use Magic Device. Do we want to switch anything out here? Hmm. Now we use pretty much everything here. Now it's gonna have to wait then. At least our blasting will do more damage. Okay, more Eldritch chains on him. 
and him. Ah, oh, crap. Jared died before he could drink that spell, huh? Should have probably rested before I came in here. The enemy is near. Oh, you're dazed? That sucks. Sorry. Can you do anything like this? Yes. Okay, can you cast any spells offensively? Cosfael. How about we do extract water elemental on him? Did that work? Oh, I made his fortitude save. That sucks. Well, this one's about to die. Cosfael. 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 Alright, 74 XP. You better follow me. These guys have what? Studded leather armor? Plus one? Yes? And we'll have you grab this stuff. Him, scale mail, heavy shield plus one. Potion to cure serious wounds, 100 gold pieces. Alright, and then we'll rest. Actually, I would like to put some of these things into the magic bag. And then we definitely have to find a store. Sure. Ilnator welcomes you, as do I. I don't know how I can thank you enough. Those horrible men tricked me, then drug me in here. They wanted to cut, cut off my wings. They said they'd done it before. There'd just be two long scars left, and... and... The winged beauty starts sobbing. The shock is still visible in all her limbs. Please calm down. Luckily, we came in just in time to stop this barbary. You should probably get yourself to a better part of town. It seems to be a little rough here. Still sobbing uncontrollably. Yes, yes, I should. As soon as I've calmed down some. We got 200 XP for that. What's in the back here? A wardrobe with nothing in it. Nothing in it. A chest. Nothing in it. Man, these guys have nothing. Not even their lives. Alright. Well, at least there was that side quest. Ilnator welcomes you, as do I. What gruesome creatures they are. Isn't it horrible? But why would they want to cut off your wings? Just to make it so you can't fly away? I guess so. So that's what Kaylin would look like with all that grayish tint to her skin. Well, thanks for the advice. So we need to make it to here, the Guildhall Ward. AKA the Berserk de Curatorin, the curator's district. What does the solar clock say? It is 11.15 a.m. Alright. So, we've engaged in two battles. One was a complete success, the other was a partial success, even though Jared died. Burger Leaker. 
I think that means commoner. Have you ever been to one of the big gate towns? If I only knew how to get there. A guard dog. Yeah, it's kind of cool looking. Boyle Laubte Blutkrieger. That's a blood warrior on leave. Hmm. Actually, I've needed a break for a while. Should I go in now? Or hmm, no, maybe it's better tomorrow. We'll see. What is this biting grass? Everything, that's right. It's all just a bleak little storm. Just like I like it. Just how I like it. What is this thing? Fighting grass. This is a miniature one of those sea monsters. Come to Sigil, there's gold lining in the streets, they said. Not one coin, not a single one have I found. And what do we have down here? Looks like a marketplace of sorts. Du kannst Sachen fragen. Woher soll ich denn weisen? Wann du das letzte Mal? You can Sachen fragen. Yeah, I don't know what those words mean. Ja, what do you then need? Mit mir bit? Mocked bazooka. That's a market visitor. Bazooka. And this is Patroclus. Hello. It looks like Mephasm. Would you like a city map? Every outsider new to Sigil should have a map. And. In Deutsch, das Stadtplan. A map? I sell maps of Sigil. In such a large city, it's helpful to know where things are located. If you buy one of my maps, you'll know where to, f to find the most important buildings. Occasionally, things here do change their location, but with any luck, that won't happen during your stay. That is, unless you never make it out of Sigil. <laughs> Uh, sounds useful. I would like one of your maps. Very well, for 50 gold pieces, it's yours. Well, it's not exactly cheap, but it is better than wandering around here lost. I'll buy one. Thank you for your business. May the cage not become a cage for you. Your map has been updated. So now, what do we have? This is the map maker. Gorgosh, Master Weaponsmith, The Little Shop, Rosanna's Herbal Emporium, At a Distance, Everything Ranged Weapons, The Torpedo Bar, this is probably where we want to go, Fest Hall of the Senates, Tholin's Machines, The Illusory Domains. Market visitor. See, this one was translated, but that one wasn't. In fact, most of them weren't. What does this giant have to say? Karnak, he operate giant scale for merchants. Elusia. Why are we taking the long route? Hello. I may not be able to sell you a portal to Elysium. I can't sell you a few magic potions or scrolls, or perhaps some other magical item. There are many things one can use to strengthen a weak body. I wouldn't say no. Show us your magical wares. Ah, here we go. What type of boots do we need? Boots of striding? Boots of hardiness? Ah, yes, this would be the best one to get. 
quite expensive though. Bracers of Dexterity. What do we have now? Gloves of the Rogue. Let's give these to that guy. You were. Sure. We have a cloak of protection. Oh, I would rather have a cloak of resistance. Nope. Cloak of fortification. I wish she had a plus two. Let's see, this gives strength plus one, not very useful. The robe of blending is 15 to hide, not very useful. The robe of Larlock is plus one. Yeah, but we're not magic users. Not typical magic users. No weapons. No usables. Ah, here we go. So we have Amulet Vitality plus two. That's actually one of the most expensive things here. Shadow opening, dust of appearance and disappearance, gem of brightness, and another magic bag, a lesser. I think I'm gonna save my money for right now. Hello there. I saw the latest fitness trainers at Tholins, but now I need to get deloused. Some recruiter once again managed to convince a couple of chummers to sign up for the Blood War. Yeah, we saw. How about this Aranes? What happened to your wings? My wings! Just gone! How could this happen? Why did this have to happen to me? Don't worry, it won't happen to anybody else. That's right, there's scars there now. So are they selling the wings? Yes. Yeah, kind of nasty, actually. Come on, haste. A market visitor looking for women. Oh, hello. A prime and a pretty young one at that. You're not looking for a man by chance, are you? No. And even if I were, such a crude come on would more likely frighten me off. Yeah, I know. I just don't have any luck with women. In the past, when I was still a priest of Torm, I barely had any interest in women. And now, when I really like some female companionship, no woman will have me. Gods and women, just one big disappointment. You were a priest? Yes, until it became clear that my dedication was completely in vain. I got nothing in return. And why not? There are no gods. Those who describe themselves as such are no different than we. Just a little stronger and more powerful. They are just interested in holding on to their power. And you fell away from Torm? Exactly. Here in Sigil, I joined the Athar. They think as I do. Sadly, I can't leave Sigil, for out there, there are nothing more than easy prey. The so-called gods fear that we will spread their secret. It seems to me that you've chosen the wrong path. You deny the obvious only because you did not receive the benefits you expected. You'll die here embittered and without having truly gained anything. Ha! <laughs> and searches and searches, God's women answers. What does one ever find? Did we choose the wrong choice? Could we have gotten a quest out of that? Now, our chances are not good. Fighting grass? Hazwear. My greetings to you. Yes, what do you want, Prime? What is this curious place? 
This is the speaking pulpit of the believers at the source. Each faction and sigil has its own pul pulpit. Ah, are you then also one of these believers? So I am, Prime. I watch over this pulpit so that no unauthorized person can give a speech here. Well, this might... Um... I guess be more useful later in the campaign. My greetings to you. Yeah, it's the same old thing. Your business too. So they raised the cover charge with the torpedo again. What? It's gonna cost us money to get in there? Greetings. That our money in the city would have sunk it into chaos. Excuse yourself. What what did we do? It's over here. We yes. Can't, we can't go that way. You better follow me. All right, let's put Cosc that on. Fiel. Yes, Cosfael. Yes. Cosfael. All right. We have haste. Keep off the gra keep off the grass at your own risk. Why will these things bite us? Ouch! The grass shoots out of the ground and bites. Did no damage though, that's good. Dabas, who's Dabas? We build and repair, maintain and care for our all in the service of the Lady of Pain. Oh, I guess it's uh it's actually more of a title, isn't it? So could we go this way? No. Anything over here? No, I don't want to get stuck either. All right, let's go back. All right, so we have, oh my goodness, it happened again. All right, we need to be hasty, let's do this. Guard dog. Vakund. So that means guard dog. Would you like something? Everything is always getting more expensive. Nowadays you barely get half as much for your jink. And look at that. They're completely crazy here. That much a bushel. This Uthraki has spider skin cast on him. And who is this? El Estate? Hello there. If you want to have a look into your future, talk to Feridan. I am her apprentice, Elistray. Feridan took me on because I am a good medium. Then I found just the right person. I need someone who can help an old man in the hive make contact to a dead woman. Oh, did she die recently? That makes it easier because the spirit has not yet distanced itself too greatly. Um, no, I'm afraid not. She's been lying buried in that cemetery down there for a while now. That's not good. He has perhaps felt that she wants to make contact. Is there an unbreakable bond between the two? Love or hate? Difficult to say. He loved her, but never spoke of it. He has no idea at all how she felt. So it could be that she just thought he was nice. So the desire for contact is solely on his part. That will be difficult. If I could take a look in Aureli Coronapi's principal work, Paths to the Afterworld, but these days it is impossible to find a copy in a sigil. And yet, Coronapi's lives here, right across from the torpedo bar, the stylish corner house with the little tower. Well, then it's quite simple. We will go to him and ask if we can have a look at his book. Hopefully he has a copy himself. One could assume you could do no worse than try. He's not known for his accommodating nature. But I think that if he hears what this is about, he'll be interested in helping. 
But don't mention that I'm involved. Every time he comes by here, he insults us as charlatans. Well, famous researchers can't be expected to have a great deal of respect for people who hawk their learning at the local market. Huh. And yet, you've come here to ask for my help. Our arts can't be all that bad, then. If you bring me the book, I'll help you in spite of your arrogant statement. But not for free. And what will the little game cost? Summoning ghosts is not all fun, Prime. Some spirits don't react at all well to being disturbed. Or, what's even worse, you get the wrong fish hooked, and you call it some old evil power who's just been waiting for some Burt to pull him into this plane. I'm asking 400 for the session, and don't even try to bargain that down. You're right, it does seem there are real dangers involved. I agree to the price. First, I have to get the book. All right, and this is Faridan. Greetings of the age to you. In the name of the ages, Charisse of Citrion, I greet you. Would you like to peer into your future? How do you know my name? Laughing secretively. Since you know... Since I know your name, it's only fair I tell you mine. My name is Faridan, and with the help of these tarot cards, I can predict your fate. For a small sum of 50 gold pieces, of course. Tarot cards. That crazy dwarf always has some with him. And then with the shutter? Yes, I would like very much to learn something of my future. Hear the words that I speak. They will have meaning for you. Then listen, in tarot there are two different roles. The first, the role of the reader I will assume. The other, the role of the querent falls to you. Shuffle the deck, Charisse. The fortune teller hands you a deck with at least 70 different cards in it. You shuffle the cards. Now you must cut the deck into two equal stacks. You do as she tells you. Give me one of the stacks. Give her the, you give the girl the stack on the right. Thank you. As you can see, I have drawn three squares on the table. The squares stand for the past, present, and future. We will begin with your past. The three cards that I will lay out on this square will describe events from your past. Continue. Faridan lays the first card on the square for the past. Here, look at this, Charisse. The first card is the Ace of Coins. This card points to the dormant opportunity that lies within oneself, unrecognized and waiting to be discovered. Faridan lays down the second card on the square for the past. Hmm, thoughtfully. It's the Five of Swords. It stands for destructive power and treachery, for a victory without joy. But is it truly you that this card speaks of? Does it not show instead the past of another? Faridan lays the third card on the field for the past. Interesting. The third card is the Eight of Wands. It stands for novelty, decisiveness, and reasoning. Tells me that in your past you were always open to new things, and that you sought always to understand the essence and not just the appearance of the world around you. Now that we have taken a look at your past, we come down to your present. It's certain that the cards will show something that's either very close to your heart or that is currently driving your thoughts and actions. Faridan lays the first card on the square for the present. Hmm, it's the devil. Are you playing with fire? You encounter the shadow side of yourself, and so should be hellishly cautious. Ferdinand lays the second card on the square for the present. Ah, oh, the Eight of Cups. It stands for pushing forward, a deeper meaning, and exhaustion. You are unresting, searching for yourself and the sense of your existence, but your search has not brought success. It drives you ever onwards. Faridan lays the third card on the square for the present. The Queen of Swords. This card stands for cleverness, alertness, and imaginativeness. For a woman that, though the strength of her own understanding, has freed herself from dependencies. Are you this woman? She also has a dark side, this queen. Calculated coolness and insurmountable reserve can hide behind her smile. It lasts you to see what the future holds ready for you.
Ferdinand lays the first card on the field for the future. Look here, it's, it is one of the major arcana, the tower. It stands for downfall, release, sudden turn, and unveiling. This card tells me that you will free yourself from the stranglehold that lies on you and that your search will find an end. But it tells me too that you will suffer a great loss that will wound you deeply, that will perhaps even destroy you. Faridan lays the second card on the square for the future. Interesting. Again, one of the major cards, the Justice. This card stands for right and wrong, responsibility, action and reaction, as well as decision. It signifies that a decision will fall to you, and whatever happens, whether you are the one dictating the course of events or not, you will not be able to escape your responsibility. Ferdinand lays the third card on the square for the future. Oh, the Ten of Swords. The Plenty of Swords symbolizes the concentrated strength of understanding that launches the violet final stroke. I cannot say that this card means good things for you. You'll triumph over your doubts and fears, but you will pay a very high price. You're alive, and the veil will fall. You'll be thrown back into darkness by an unexpected power, but I cannot see if the strength of your love will save you. How do you mean? What should I make of your dark intimations? Visibly exhausted. This is what your future holds ready for you. I cannot tell you anything beyond what I see. But think on this. The cards do not have any power over your fate. They only interpret it. Now, please go. I am tired. And this is Sal. Oh, that was a good choice to come to my shop and not my completely overpriced competitors. You are a clever lady. Just look at the fine wares I have laid out here. Just, just the things you're looking for. We'll see. Let me take a look. Man, you got the same thing everybody else does. Anything good here? Yeah, maybe some of these healer's kits. Other than that, it's just traps. Hmm. Yeah, this is Gorash. You, Cutter, are in the right place. Weapons and armor, finest dwarf works workmanship. Luckily, there are people in Sigil like me who don't just philosophize, but also do some proper work. Oh, we can enhance the sort of Horatio Dragon Slayer. Then we'll have to get it because otherwise, I bet you we'll have a duplicate item. At the moment, I don't need anything, but it's good to know that you're here. Yes. All right. Let's give the sword to Charisse. Yes. Tell me, good man, are you able to enhance my husband's ancestral sword, the blade of Horatio Dragonslayer? But I don't want it any way to be damaged. I don't want it in any way to be damaged. Huh. I would damage no blade. I am a master of my trade. Show me the good sword. The dwarf examines the blade minutely, and then nods. You're right, this blade is truly masterfully forged. It would be my honor to enhance it a little. And how much would that cost me? 2,000 gold pieces. That should be worth it to you. Uh, that is a fair price. Here, let's see the quality of your work. You must wait a long time while the dwarf works the sword at the anvil, muttering runish words over it. When you return to a stand after a lengthy stroll through the town, the smiling dwarf presents you the shining polished sword. And relieved... So, is it finally finished? Peevishly, finally! You aren't serious, are you? Someone has someone in such a short time done better work. Happily admiring the door's work. The blade came out beautifully. It did not promise too much. Did you think I was a braggart? I'm a dwarf. Then have my thanks, Master Dwarf. Hopefully this sword will give me many long years of service. 
All right, so now we have the enhanced version. Actually, it might have been better just to leave it in Jared's possession. That way, we, we would have gotten the enhanced sword, and we would still have we still would have had the original, and then we could have sold the original. Why did it disarm me? Yes. And it disarmed you too for some weird reason. Nobody else though. Yes. You better follow me. Alright, let's see what you have for sale. stuff. Adamantine armors, armor of fleetness. This does haste. What mithril chain shirt? Is that kind of like this one? Probably better. The silver shield. Gives you immunity to fear. Oh, that's a good one. Probably better than the Smithrel Shield. Ah, but I have freedom of movement with it. Umbra Hulk Hide Half Plate. Holy crap. Holy cow. Look at this. Plus two, immunity to mind affecting spells. Now would be a good time to sell some of this stuff. Sell the gold ring. We don't have any clerics in the party, so we'll sell this. Sell the ring of jade, we don't need that. Can't sell the eye of Saluna. Yes. Oh, you're way over here. Follow me. Actually, we want to sell some of this stuff. Let's start with the chain shirt plus one. And the club plus one. And the great sword. Alright, let's identify this. Brawler's belt gives you resistance bludgeoning five. Follow me. Well, you know what? I think we should take off this helmet now because it's doing us a disservice. We're going to take off the swordsman belt, which gives us resistance 5 slashing. We're going to put this on. We're going to take this off. And now we can see our hair again. Somebody doesn't need charisma, but needs resistance to bludgeoning. Would that person be you? Yes. No, I don't want to lower your charisma. Yes? About you. Well, if I lower your charisma, your use magic device would drop. Yes, nah, good. Yes? What type of belt are you wearing? The archer's belt versus the piercing. You'll get that one. So you got resistance to slashing. Sure. And what type of weapons do we have? Mostly a plus two items. Nothing special here. And that's about it. Oh yeah. 
I haven't picked a portrait for you. I'm gonna do that right now. I'll come back once I've picked one out. Okay, this is the best one that I could come up with. That I could come up with. There weren't any male tiefling portraits per se, but this one's kind of close. Besides, he has dual weapons and error or not error. Damien is wielding two weapons. Well, error is too, but. Damien is definitely wielding two weapons. Sure. Now we are kind of getting up on time in the episode. Why don't we see if we can explore one more thing around here. Maybe a couple more. Before we call it an episode. What the? Is... Oh, that's weird. This is Mirnail. Well met. Do you need bows or ammunition? It's best not to be defenseless here in the cage. The harmonium can't be everywhere. It wants to look after your rights. Then it's good to be able to defend yourself. Doubtless you are correct. It certainly couldn't hurt to take a look at your offerings. Oh, nice. Although we haven't been using ranged weapons in this campaign. Thanks, but no thanks. Not over here. Can we go along this backside to anything? No, we can't. I guess that's the extent of it, huh? Okay. I thought there was something else around here. Rosanna's Herbal Emporium. Well, where would that be? In here? Uh, yeah. Kind of hard to see, but here you are. It is a pleasure to speak with you. Do you need potions? My shop is the only herb shop in Sigil. Really? Considering how large the city is? Nothing grows here besides razor vine and everything green and has to be imported at great expense, so don't be surprised at the prices. Doesn't matter, I desperately need some potions. Any lore potions? Could probably go for some of these. Nah, yeah, these are really expensive here. Frank, Volstein, Volstein, What is this? Dieser Trank ist ein wundersames Alchemie. Die Fläche ist sehr light. Light. It's very light. The flask is very light. Okay, this drink is a wonder something heal all. It does greater restoration. That's all we need to know. I don't see any bushes of lore though. That's what we need. I guess we won't be doing any identifying ourselves then. A door to nowhere, huh? I like the Winchester Mystery House. Okay. So who do we sell this head to, huh? This over here would be the illusory domains. Zerpa. Supposedly at night in the alley behind the high tower, people are constantly disappearing. Well, Sigil is a dangerous place. Oh, 
that's a fairly long staircase. Can we climb up it? Yes, we can. And what greets us up here? A door that doesn't open. Okay, down we go. So where are the authorities in this town? I'm guessing that's not it. Maybe over here? Fest Hall of the Senates? Would that be like the Parliament Building? Elysio. The man examines you coldly. New in sigil? Yes, relatively new. Is that a problem? That depends on you. Sigil may be somewhat different from the cities you know in the material planes. One thing we do have in common... Well, one thing we do have in common with them? Laws! Really? Edicts from your lady? The lady concerns herself little for the insignificant. Equilibrium is the only thing of importance to her. Yet without laws, equilibrium quickly descends into chaos and disorder. And the Lady of Pain would view this with extreme displeasure. This will never come about so long as we have the triad of order. Indeed, a gnome in stock explained it to me. That means I guess that means hive. A gnome in the hive explained it to me. So you're from the Harmonium or a Mercy Killer? I see you are not so clueless as I had presumed, indeed. I am in fact a punisher, a mercy killer. You are an executioner? An ugly word. Better said, we are the strong arm of the law that and operate in accordance with the laws of sigil. If everyone were to take their own revenge for every crime, then chaos would reign. That's why the mercy killers exist. We punish and seek retribution in the name of society, not the individuals. We ensure order. I understand. Executioner is really too mundane a word. The gnome told me that the mercy killers recently hunted for a criminal in the hive, but in vain. Jorad Tenfoot. That's correct. Jorad Tenfoot is wanted for extortion, thievery, vandalism, and murder, and has been sentenced in absentia to death. The sentence can be carried out on sight. Unfortunately, Cunning Dog keeps managing to slip through our fingers. He must be hiding out somewhere in the hive. And if I could bring you his head, would the reward be mine? Of course, if you actually managed to find him and render him harmless, you would even be welcome to join the Mercy Killers, as long as your interest is in justice and law, and not just in the reward. Behold, I have Jorad's head right here. Do you recognize him? Ah, Jorad's ugly mug is unmistakable. You have earned my respect. And so, what of our offer? Are you interested in joining us? In that case, there is, of course, no reward. Jorah's head is more or less your admission ticket to the faction. No reward? What does joining you what does joining you do for me then? Well, for a true upholder of justice, it's a wonderful, fulfilling experience to belong to a group that stands against chaos. And with your selfless act for the safety of our city, proving the depth of your calling to that goal. I have no interest in your brand of justice. Give me the reward. That is all I want. I guess that's because we're chaotic, huh? A shame. We have a long way before you. Here, take your well-earned gold. Live well. We must move on. Alright, so we got 2,500 XP. Or 2,500 gold pieces, I should say, and 1,000 XP. And we still have a ways to go here. You got your wings cut off, too? You go out all night and get loaded, and then those pigs, I bet they thought it was fun. Yeah, cutting your wings off. I bet it was. Info unit. In front of you stands a construct that was clearly built with a great deal of love for detail. The head is constructed from carefully formed metal plates, and it seems to be wearing a kind of armor which surrounds a body of pure energy. Oh, it's not another one of those tin cans. Or one of these tin cans. 
At least this tin can doesn't want to hack us to pieces. Seems quite friendly, in fact. Raise your hand to touch the construct. Jared quickly pulls your hand away before you can touch its cool metal. Mistress, let me do that. This thing will probably get aggressive if it's touched. As soon as Jared touches it, it turns towards you and his eyes begin to light up. Welcome, Cutter. I am YFG7H, Info Unit Revision 0.97C, donated by the Believers of the Source. To give the gift of knowledge to Chummers and Primes, please choose a subject. Construct. The construct shoves a small piece of paper on your nose on which you are listed a number of topics. You examine the paper with interest. The planes and sigil? We can learn of these from you? Please specify your question. Choose your subject. Uh, I guess I'll ask more of these in the next episode. We are really running up on time. Very well, now I've truly learned a great deal. Let's continue on. We'll talk to you later. Agatha Tunes. Alright. So I guess we will explore more of the Guildhall Ward, otherwise known as the Curator's Districts, if you read it in German. And I guess we will try to find out where... What's his name is? Amiel? Dang it. See, before it was... Um, dash I-E-L, and here it's changed, so, uh, just another typo, I guess. I'm gonna have to change the description in, uh, my previous episode. Anyways, we're gonna have to look for this person and find out how to get to the Abyss. We also have some other side quests to take care of. Will we be able to complete them resolutely? Find out next time. It's Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Feeling dunk. Auf Wiedersehen. Macht's gut. Tschüss.